Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your mid-February reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <laughs> if you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. Okay, so as you can see Cancer, the cards are just flying right out for you. So we do have the Emperor. He did land in the reverse crossed by the two of wands. Wow. We have the eight of pentacles at your foundation. What does cancer have coming up the rest of February, please? We have the star in the recent past. And guys, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Also, make sure that you've clicked the little bell. Make sure you are seeing my videos. Uh, I do have a giveaway coming up here in the near future. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. What does cancer have coming up here in the rest of February? Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles crowning you. So now we just need an outcome. So this is energy you will experience at the end of the month. Wow, three of wands in the reverse. And here at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of swords. Hmm. Maybe needing more information. Um, something may not be growing, but it's because you need more information or maybe there's there's possibly a stalemate let's see I am going to be clarifying everything oh wow look at this we have the two of swords here at the bottom of the deck and I'm just using this as a bonus right now with these mid months and so two of swords can be Someone who is in denial, someone who's not making any moves, they're not doing anything. Not making a decision because you need more information. Underneath the Two of Swords, we have the moon. So something is definitely confusing, something's unclear. You may not be seeing a situation clearly. And then look at this, oh my. We have the tower. We have the moon and we have the tower. So the moon can be that illusion, that that very confusing energy where you know you don't know what's going on. And then we have the tower. <laughs> and then we have the tower. And so uh, this is a very sudden energy. An illusion could be crumbling, definitely, if there was some sort of um, lies or deception around a situation, that would be coming to light. Now, some of you, with this Two of Swords, this is you maybe ignoring all of this. Uh, the, the tower can be chaos, and the moon can be madness. Chaos and madness that some of you are blocking out and it may have something to do with a king of swords but this is this is truth this is clarity coming in someone could be telling you something and it may be shocking or you know you could be doing this oh look at this we have the queen of cups So you may be dealing with, uh, it could be a Pisces, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there's the Eight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups here. Interesting. So if you were dealing with a particular person, a Queen of Cups or a King of Swords, they suddenly could be moving on. Also, if, you know, either of these characters were lying about something, that could be coming to light. And then, you know, someone 
turning their back. There's the Eight of Swords. So you have some eights here. You have an eight at your foundation as well. And eights are a karmic number. So, you know, because somebody lied, because somebody did something here, that's why we have this chaos and madness. So that's interesting. Um, if somebody did lie to you, Cancer, they certainly could be coming back your way with an apology with that Knight of Cups, but you could be ignoring them. So that's very interesting. We do have the Emperor. First card out did land in the reverse. We have the Two of Wands. So no matter if you're male or female, you may not want to move with this Two of Swords, the Emperor in the reverse. This is you not taking control, not stepping into your power. No movement with the Two of Swords. Maybe you can't, um, but this is, this is no movement. With the Emperor in the reverse, if you're dealing with an emperor, this could be your father, your grandfather, this could be your husband. If you're dealing with an emperor, maybe maybe they have a decision to make. You could be waiting on them. Some of you, you have a couple of options. If you date men in particular you may have a couple of uh characters around you you could be dealing with an aries possibly an aries or a taurus could be dealing with the king of swords and the challenge is making a decision needing to look at these options but the emperor in the reverse, maybe you're dealing with somebody who's divorced or the emperor in the reverse can be a number of different things. A number of different things. It can be somebody who is not leading, not setting an example. And so if you are looking at a couple of options, I mean, this could be an ex. You could be dealing with an ex and then you could be dealing with someone else. It could be your ex-husband that is still around. But we do have the Eight of Pentacles at your foundation. Some of you are very focused on work. Maybe, maybe you didn't receive a raise or promotion. You've been working very hard, maybe waiting on some sort of promotion and it hasn't come through uh, mid-February for some of you. There's no growth, you're still waiting. You've already put the work in, you're just waiting for your ships to come in. Could be waiting on your boss to contact you. For some of you, you're waiting. Maybe they have to make a decision. For some of you, this is this is career. This is definitely career. Maybe something that was hidden came to light. But we do have the star in the recent past. So this was you hopeful. Hoping and wishing for maybe this promotion. Hoping and wishing for something in particular. It's you being guided, uh, divinely guided. But you still need more information. There's some uncertainty here. You need more information. I see you very focused on your work. You have the Queen of Pentacles crowning you. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Someone who's all about their, their money, their coins. Uh, someone who's very focused on their work.
And for those of you where this is on the love front, you could be dealing with somebody at a distance. Maybe you were hoping to come together with this person, hoping for some sort of growth, but you're definitely having to be patient here in February. All right, let's do some clarifying for Cancer. Let's first take a look at the Emperor in the reverse, which can be someone who's incredibly controlling. But let's see, let's see. This could be a business partner for some of you with the Two of Wands. Could be an Aquarius. Uh, we have that King of Swords there at the bottom of the deck. Wealthy man. So this could be your boss. Um, maybe you're waiting on a decision from this person. Or again, you're waiting on a promotion. You're waiting for some money to come in. Let's take a look at the Eight of Pentacles at your foundation. For Cancer, please. If you're not planning for the long term, my advice would be to do so. Some of you maybe are only focused on the right now. Maybe you're not saving. I think that for some of you that's needed. All right, so looking at the Eight of Pentacles, we have the mature woman. So this could be you. This could be you. Or this could be someone that you're dealing with. Let's take a look at the star. Please clarify the star for cancer, please. Could be dealing with somebody older. So again, some of you, you're dealing with somebody at a distance. Maybe you're waiting for them to come and see you or something like that. We have Journey and we have the Star. So some someone's at a distance. Others hoping to move forward, hoping to go on this journey hoping for movement let's take a look at the let's do the queen of pentacles and then the three of wands let's see for cancer yeah we have despair so queen of pentacles some of you worried about money Ooh, though so yeah. Again, those of you that are not planning for the long term, I think that that is needed definitely. Also, some of you, maybe you have a mature woman around you. This could be your mom, a grandmother, someone older around you who's important. Um, they may need your help or, or something in the future. We do have unexpected income. And so I do feel like this money is coming in. It just may not be when you want it to. There is money coming in. And some of you may be feeling a lack here. Don't have that lack mindset. Just stay focused on your work. Let's look at the Two of Swords. Maybe a wealthy man is going to come in and help you. Please clarify the Two of Swords for Cancer, please. Marriage. Okay. So that's interesting because we have the Emperor in the reverse. So for some of you, I mean, this could be your ex-husband, the Emperor in the reverse. 
Maybe he's wealthy. Maybe you're waiting on, you know, some money to come in, alimony, something like that. You may be older. For some of you, this is someone that you're that you are married to or you were married to. You could be saying no to somebody. Uh, this could be something on the business front as well, needing more information, having to wait. I feel like it's coming in though. Maybe waiting on a deal, others waiting on some money to come in. Quite interesting. Okay, we have the house at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this may have something to do with property, assets, things like that. This could be an ex-husband. And stay positive. I see here that in the recent past, you had a positive mindset. So uh, make sure you stay in that energy. All right, let's pull you an Angel Answers Oracle for Cancer, please. Looking at the rest of February for Cancer. We got no, it did land in the reverse. With despair, maybe you were telling yourself that you know something wasn't going to happen or maybe you were thinking the worst. Okay, so we do have not the right time at the bottom of the deck. Let's see if we get any more jumpers for cancer. Improving health some of you that could be where your focus is at with the queen of pentacles and then we also have the situation will improve it's just going to take a minute it's going to take a little while so it may not happen you know in the timing that you want but it will happen let's see we do have the leo full moon coming up here so let's pull you a Moonology Oracle for Cancer, please. Looking at the rest of February. Last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. And then we have full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Yeah, so maybe some of you are trying to control a situation too much. And that's why we have the Emperor in the reverse. Yeah. For those of you where you're good financially, you don't have really anything going on on the business front, uh, you definitely could be more focused on your health here at this time. And a couple other signs have that as well. If you've been dealing with a health matter, you definitely may see improvement with that. But my advice is to stay positive. Work through your feelings. Trust your gut. You have the moon at the bottom of the deck. Let's pull you one of these for cancer. Looking at the rest of February, please. Some of you definitely dealing with an Aries. Look at this. We have number five cycle transformation. And then we have number two, planning and action. So you are actually going through a transformation. For some of you, this could be physically. Others, you know, this could be a number of different things. This could be on the job front, definitely. Um, but it's a time to plan. When, when it's time to move forward, you will know. But I think that you need more information. There's a lot of unknowns. Clarity is definitely needed, but you're going through a transformation. All right, let's see what you have going on on the love front for cancer. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. 
And so maybe you need to sit down and have a heart to heart. And then at the bottom, we do have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So put your, your well-being, put your needs first, Cancer. Some of you, you have some feelings that you have to work through. Let's see what signs you're dealing with. Who is Cancer dealing with here? The rest of February, please. But it's definitely, it's definitely a time to plan and take those action steps. You are going through a big change with transformation coming out. A cycle is wrapping up. Let's see. We have Capricorn and Taurus coming through. So Earth energy again. So definitely dealing with an Earth sign. Could also be dealing with an Air sign. Aries is coming through as well. All right, guys. I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed.